In the previous tutorial, we created this simple loft without having any guiding lines, just selecting the sketches. In SolidWorks, you are also able to select some guiding lines if you want your loft to follow some specific path. So let's try to delete this loft. And now we have these three sketches. We will try to insert some guide so we can find a plane where we are able to have a path intersecting with all these sketches. So let's start a sketch on the right plane and then we can make normal to to be sure that we are intersecting with the sketches we can make can projecting can convert this and convert them to constructional and make a spline make so here we created a path exit go to the loft surface clear selection and the profiles we have to be sure are selecting our sketches so this is the simple loft for regarding curve you can select that curve then click ok so you notice it was not able to create that loft so you can move to the other option to be sure that we are selecting so we have another advanced option we will use it for the first time in this set of tutorials we can go to the 3d sketch if you go to the sketch you have 3d sketch so the scale 3d sketch is not associated with any planes so it is moving free in the space in three directions let's select a spline select this point so now we are sure it is intersecting with that profile and then select another point then third point and you are done select so you have since it is a 3d sketch so it needs some extra control to see where the path is going so let's try to see this path it is intersecting this point here try to delete that relation make sure that this point is intersecting with that sketch so when you are So when you are done with your 3D sketch, you can go exit, select the lofted clear selection here, select the profiles there. For the guiding line, select the 3D sketch. So here you notice that your lofted guide 
is working so now you have your special or unique lifted surface 